Good morning, friends. It is good to be with you again this Thursday morning. With the spring in the air, it's a beautiful time of year. It's a time to reflect on God's love and grace in our lives, which is really appropriate any time of the year when uh, you probably remember when Jesus was asked what's the two greatest commandments, and he said to love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbors yourself. And I think that's a message that's uh, pretty brief, but it's one that speaks volumes about what we should be as followers of Jesus Christ and how we should seek to love one another as God has loved us. And I get concerned when I look around the world and I see so much division, so many people going in divergent directions, and all of them claiming to be followers of Jesus Christ at the same time. I find that disheartening. It, it hurts my soul to think of that. Because we're all children of God. We're all called to follow him through his son, Jesus Christ. We're all called to love one another and to forgive one another and accept one another as God has accepted us. When I was thinking about this topic, I, I thought of a song that was one of my favorites from when I was a child, a hymn from church titled, I Love to Tell the Story. And the story is of Jesus' love. In fact, the words, let me share some of the words with you to remind you about this. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because I know it's true. It satisfies my longings as nothing else can do. This song reminds us that God loves us, that God is not intending for any of us to be separated from God, that God wants all of us in communion with God and with one another. And unfortunately, sometimes the church is some of the worst at dividing people one from another and claiming we're under the same banner and yet not acting that way. Well, the source of this song, I love to tell the story, is from a, a poet named Arabella Catherine Hankey, known as Kate. She lived in the 1800s from 1834, dying in 1911. She grew up in a family of wealthy English bankers, and she was associated with the evangelical wing of the Anglican Church. And as a teenager, Kate taught girls Sunday school class, and later she traveled to South Africa to serve as a nurse. And also she helped to assist her invalid brother in his daily needs. Well, Kate, while recovering from a lengthy illness at her own age of 30, she wrote a poem on the life of Christ. The poem had two sections. The first was published in January of 1866 and entitled The Story Wanted. And the second published later that year in November under the title, The Story Told. Well, the hymn, I Love to Tell the Story, is drawn from the, the stanzas. The stanzas to the song come from the second section of this poem. And it was in 1867 that at a YMCA international gathering in Montreal, an Englishman named Major General Russell read this poem, I Love to Tell the Story and caught the ear of many of those in attendance, reminding them of God's love, reminding them that God never abandons them. And that's hard during times of strife. This 1867 would have been very shortly after the Civil War, a time when the countries was divided to the point they were killing each other. Well, it was in 1869 that William G. Fisher, a Philadelphia musician and also a piano dealer, heard this poem and wrote the music and the words to the refrain. In 1875, Philip Bliss and Ira Sankey included this song, I Love to Tell the Story, now the words of Kate Hankey and the music of William Fisher put together in their uh, collection of gospel songs called Gospel Hymns and Sacred Songs in 1875. Since then it's become a favorite of the church 
one that reminds us of God's everlasting love. It reminds us that we are to abide in that love. And too many times I hear people stressing God's wrath and God's judgment without considering that God loves us no matter. And I encourage you to think of that and sing along with this tune, maybe reminding yourselves of singing this as a child in your church, or, or maybe you don't even know the song, but let the words sink into your mind and your soul. I love to tell the story. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story because I know it is true. It satisfies my longings as nothing else can do. I love to tell the story will be my theme and glory to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story more wonderful it seems than all the golden fancies of all our golden dreams. I love to tell the story it did so much for me and that is just the reason I tell it now to thee. I love to tell the story will be my theme and glory to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story tis pleasant to repeat what seems each time I tell it more wonderfully sweet. I love to tell the story for some have never heard the message of salvation from God's own holy word. I love to tell the story will be my theme and glory to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story for those who know it best, seem hungering and thirsting to hear it like the rest. And when in scenes of glory I sing the new, new song, story will be my theme and glory to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. Well, that's what I hope for you and myself and others that I am around and those I don't yet know, that we share the love of God with one another that we don't enter into relationships with one another thinking we can try and fix them or that somehow God hates them or God doesn't like them for one reason or another, but to tell the story of God's love, that we can love one another because God first loved us. And it's our duty as Christians to share that love in whatever ways we can. Sometimes it's visiting with people or, or praying with them or it might be bringing them a hot meal might be showing them how much they're loved. Go in peace and have a beautiful day.